Hey, brother. Hey, brother. <laughs> Not wasting any time. What up? Um, so happy, you guys know it's Veterans Day? Oh, yes. yes. Happy it's Veterans happy Day. Moment. It's today. It's today. Welcome back. Happy so Veterans Day. Veterans we have Monday off or something. Thank you, maybe we for Friday because of parent teacher conference. Plus Friday. No, that's oh, is that next week? Plus Friday. Plus okay. Friday's next week. Okay, welcome to Thursday Thoughts with Brad. Um, can, uh, anybody have like a bag or a backpack or a piece of clothing? Yeah. I want you to look and see if you can tell me where it was made. Herschel. Where? H&M. <laughs> LeBron. No, oh, where? No, no, what? No. not what company made it. What country? Oh, I'm pretty sure my jacket It says, says. design in the Herschel workshop. Let me look. That's not a place. Yeah, it is. Oh, it is. Talia Uncinia? Yeah. Yeah. Got a bunch of that. Okay, what do you got? Where are they made? Um, I got it. Herschel workshop. Mine was made in Italian. Mine was made. I don't know where Vans was made. It doesn't really matter. Oh, I'm pretty sure mine's just made in China. Okay, anybody? Vietnam, I guess. Yeah, that's so sick. What do you guys got? Anybody got a country for me? Vietnam. Vietnam? Okay. Herschel workshop. Herschel. Okay. It's <laughs> China. Now, how does that stuff get here? Mail? Uh, mail or cargo ships? Cargo, cargo ships? Cargo ships. Okay, have you guys ever seen a cargo ship? Yeah. yeah. They're huge. They're huge. So they carry, um, they carry these containers, okay? Shipping containers. Shipping containers. Uh -huh. And one shipping container is the size of like a big trailer on a semi truck. That's how big those containers yeah, are. Cool. Those. Yeah, you could. <laughs> and uh, right do you guys know how many containers can sh can fit on one of those ships? Seven hundred and five. Like a thousand. More like, thousand. like more than twenty thousand. Really? That's how big those ships are. Yeah, okay? they're, they're massive. And they go back and forth from like China to the US, China to the US, back and forth, just bringing us stuff and probably sending a little bit of stuff back. But for the most part, bringing us stuff. Okay. And when these ships are going across the ocean, um, they're going across the Pacific Ocean and the salt water and they pick up a lot of barnacles. Do you guys know what those are? Yeah. yeah. Okay. Gross things. Gross things. They stick to the boat. And once they latch on to the boat, they do not get off. That's where they're gonna spend the rest of their lives. And um, so the ship captains, when they get to the port, they have to have their ships cleaned of those barnacles because they weigh them down. They make them so they're not so slick, so they slow the ships down. So they have to put this big ship up in the air and you could, some of these barnacles are so strong that you could hang a 5,000 pound weight from one of them and they won't let go. Are like that's how, that's how stuck on these barnacles are. Yeah, that's great. So they have to get them off with like a jackhammer, okay? And you can imagine how big these ships are, how long that would take to get these, uh, these barnacles oh. off. So one of the other things that these ship captains do instead of having their ships lifted in the air and cleaned off is they'll actually go up to Portland, okay? And anybody ever been to Portland before? No. No? Yeah. So you have the ocean, and then there's a river that feeds into the ocean called the Columbia River. So it goes out into the ocean. Um, and these ships will go in that area. They'll go up the river all the way to Portland. It's 100 miles from the edge of the uh, state all the way to where Portland is. Mm -hmm. And that river is fresh water, okay? So what happens when these ships go up and around up into Portland, they um, they go through this fresh water and what happens to the barnacles? They fall off. They, they, fall off. they die. They fall off and die because they can't live in fresh water, right? So why do they need to do their jackhammers? Well, that's the other option. So either these ship captains can like wait for their ship to be cleaned off or they can go up to Portland to get their ship cleaned by that fresh water, okay? So, um, the barnacles, so, so in this example, you're the ship, okay? The barnacles are those things that you don't want in your life, okay? Things that you just don't want hanging around, okay? And so, you have to find time to get rid of those barnacles. 
okay? And you have to find time for that fresh water. It, it may not be all that convenient, okay? But you've got to find time for that fresh water. So how do you guys, how can you, or if those barnacles were say like sins or things that you just didn't want in your life, where's places you could go for fresh water to get them out of your life? The refrigerator. The refrigerator. God. I don't think that's going to work, Isaac. <laughs> Where else could you go for fresh water? God. God? What places could you go, though? The bishop. The bishop? The bishop? Okay. Like... Anybody else? You could just kneel in your bedroom. Um, okay. You could pray. Scriptures. Okay. Scriptures. Yep. Temple. Temple? That's a good one. No. Even going to church every week, right? Mm -hmm. Think about that kind of fresh the water pendulum. analogy. Yeah. So if you think about that, guys, there's places where you can go. I mean, you're going to walk through the halls in about five minutes and those kind of barnacle type things are going to just start sticking. OK, and if you don't have if you don't take time for that fresh water, eventually those things start to weigh you down and slow you down. So think about that when you have opportunities to go to the temple or to go to seminary or to just reflect and pray. Um, look for those opportunities for fresh water, okay? So that is your Thursday Thoughts with Brad. Bye! Bye. Bye.